Hi Aries, welcome to your week ahead horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. Quick note about my readings, they are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So whether you're sun, moon or rising sign Aries, this is for you. Uh, if you are continued subby, you know I love you for it. If you are new to the channel or just passing through, thank you so much for being here. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your your highest vibrational good. So let's check out your uh, key to the week card as I am very late with the monthlies. I'm very sorry about that. Um, so let's check it out for your key to the week. You have the hanged man. This week, Aries, you have to be patient. This is a week for you to take a step back. If you try to charge in, all guns blazing and just go for it, the chances are the energy will work against you. A lot of your plans need to be reassessed or re-evaluated at this moment in time. And the fact that you have the hanged man as your overall sort of energy for the week, you're being asked to go within. You're being asked to pay attention to what your spiritual needs are. You're being asked to listen to what your soul or your spirit is asking from you this week so that you can get a really clearer idea of where it is that you're actually heading. If you try to jump in and be happy hazard this week the chances are it's going to kind of trip you up uh, the other thing as well for some of you your message this week is literally that you need to think about where you are overextending yourself and where you are giving too much for your actions and options this week you have the eight of swords right so this week you're going to have to find some way to really navigate this feeling because you might feel a little bit hemmed in you might be feeling like you know and i think at this point we're all feeling that feeling especially when it comes to all of the crap that we're having to deal with at the moment right but the big message that comes up for you this week if you're feeling hemmed in remember that sometimes the worst prison that you can be in sometimes the worst lockdown that you can be in is the one in here so you have to find a way to utilize your mental energy or to do something with it so that it doesn't work against you all right your other thing with your eight of swords as well so um your key to the week is asking you to really think about how you're doing what you're doing right it's asking you to to really reobserve the plans to see if they work that eight of swords uh, as an actions and options card very often it's about really finding the staying power that you need so ask yourself whatever plans you're looking at or you're needing to reassess or reevaluate the big message here aside from you know finding other ways to be free on the mental plane is really are you prepared to be in it for the long haul for your communications and conversations you have the emperor card right so this week you may find that the the, the challenges that come up in communication are coming from outside, right? Um, and I say this because you've got the Emperor card. So whether you're Sun, Moon or Ascendant uh, Aries, this is for you, right? The, the Emperor card literally represents your sign. And this represents you speaking clearly, speaking your truth. It's like you say what you mean this week, you mean what you say. You can stand by that 100%. However, we do have that Mercury retrograde that is now in full swing. And it kind of suggests that even though you're saying what you mean and meaning what you you say the way that it's received may not necessarily be the way that you would like it to be um so this is you, you know so it kind of feels like this week there is going to be a problem with communication but for once it really is everybody else try to keep that in mind you know don't use that as like a tool to wield um just be aware it's like okay well i'm you know communicating in the best way that i can i'm being very clear about what i want or what i'm doing if it's being lost in translation, I'll just have to wait till they catch up. All right, so what's the, and the thing is as well with the emperor, remember it's not just about being forceful. Sometimes it's about being strategic and sometimes the best way to, to, to really get ahead is to do nothing. That's one way of, uh, of looking at it, especially with the hanged man involved. Um, and the other way is literally to wait for everybody to come to the same conclusion as you. When it comes to your work, for those of you that are employed, you could be uh, speaking to or uh, connecting to bosses this week, but there's just a difference of opinion. And it's really important because <laughs> this week, you know, just because you're in the right, 
doesn't mean that somebody else is actually gonna understand that and you're not gonna be able to make them understand it. You'll just have to wait until they get to that conclusion. For those of you that work for yourselves, business owners, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, um, again, there's something being lost in translation this week and especially where there is, uh, where there are collaborations taking place this week, it would be a really good idea to uh, before you press go on anything to take it back to the not even take it back to the beginning but take it back to the drawing board and ask whoever your partner your collaborator your um you know anyone that you're working with or alongside just ask them what their expectations are because it looks like you're on very different paths this week and it might create a problem later down uh, and then for those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason this is a week for you to get really clear on what it is that you either want to study or what it is that you can use old skills for in the present moment all right so this is about finding ways to make whatever whatever your skill set is it's transferable but this week you're going to have to go through the process of figuring out exactly how that is or what that looks like for your money and materials all right, money's good this week. You've got the chariot card. Um, now, because it is underneath the eight of swords, right? So this week, you could be tempted to spend money on something that you may not be able to use until a later date. I'll give you an example. We here in the UK still pretty much under lockdown. Not really much point in buying a brand new spanking car. <laughs> you know just call a spade a spade at the moment it would probably be better to wait so this is something that you want to think about for those of you who know that your car needs repairs this could be the extra expense that comes up this week it could be something to do with your vehicle uh with the eight of swords i'm gonna call it at the th this is probably gonna be um and i touch wood i hope i'm wrong on this but it could be something like uh, a tire puncture or you know anything like that where a sharp object is piercing the wheel so just be aware of that this week uh, when it comes to your physical health and vitality this is all about your stomach your uh, fluids as well this would be a really good week for you to do some kind of a detox in fact especially because you've got the hanged man there which is very neptunian uh, when you think about like poisons and all of the rest of it the chariot card, very Cancerian. So anything where you're detoxing your stomach or like the waters of your body, this would be a great week for you to put energy into that. And then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, uh, especially because you've got your own card there in the communications and conversations, if you're gonna invite people to your home, just be sure that you are in a hospitable mood. <laughs> all right and even if somebody's in your castle they're still allowed to agree with you it's not like the old days where it's like you disagree with me off with your head you know like it's not like that anymore and this week just be open to the fact that you are going to meet probably some very different opinions on things that you um things that you end up having discussions about you know there, there could be a, a, an energy of real debate here and just with this mix of cards, it, it might go a little bit further. You know, when sometimes like you have a discussion and then it becomes a debate and then that debate turns into something a little bit more heated, not quite a full blown argument, but definitely a disagreement. Try to keep it in that realm this week, all right? Especially because you're being very clear in your communications, but the way that they're being received, not so much. For your love and relations, you have the Eight of Wands. So for those of you that are in connection to somebody that is at a distance, uh, for those of you that are maybe hot for teacher, um, <laughs> if you've got a teacher or a mentor or somebody that kind of fulfills that role in your life. If you're single, this week you could be looking at your teacher, your mentor, your coach, whatever, in a very different light. Um, so just something to be aware of. There's a, a lot of sexy sensual energy in this uh, love sector which i really really like there could be some you know some sexting some all of that going on this week so there's definitely a sense of flirtation and fun which comes through but i kind of feel like this is it's almost like whether this is with a boss somebody that's you know like considered a teacher or whatnot like there's definitely that energy this week um for those of you that are partnered or already in relationships 
uh, very, I mean, it's a very, again, very sensual, very sexual, very steamy. There is that kind of energy this week, but I kind of feel like there's almost like you and a partner or you and your significant other aren't able to connect this week. Whether this is that you have people over and they're staying and so you can't be as, um, interactive as possible <laughs> um, or whether it's that you know one of you is traveling for work which is very possible with the chariot card there um you know and obviously with the hanged man there as well it kind of suggests that you know for some of you there might even be a little bit of a clandestine thing going on which kind of makes sense you know because if there's something going on with a teacher or a mentor or a boss you don't always want that to be common knowledge, right? So yeah, it's gonna be an interesting week for you guys for sure. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care and I'll see you soon.